So I often get asked the question, what's the best way to learn Laravel if you're coming from the JavaScript world? In the past, my answer has been pretty simple. You use Inertia.js, which is basically allowing you to use React or Vue or even Svelte to build with Laravel. Instead of having to write a separate API and then kind of connecting those two pieces together, you instead get to serve a view, in this case, like a view view, and just use that code as you would expect in Vue or React or Svelte, but instead it's connecting it to Laravel seamlessly. You just kind of render that from within your controller. This is still very classic in the sense that you're building an MVC framework, an MVC application. You have a model, you have a view, and you have a controller, and that view is just now powered by React or Vue or Svelte. But I actually think there's a better way to start learning Laravel if you're coming from the JavaScript world and it's diving all in. So here's the steps that I would take if I was starting to learn Laravel as a JavaScript developer. The first thing that a lot of people get hung up on is how do I actually set up my development environment? And we have an easy answer now with Laravel Herd, and this is for a Mac OS and for Windows. And basically, after you install this, you have everything that you need to build a Laravel application out the gates. You don't have to worry about things like how do I set up my PHP runtime, even things like Node, all of that is handled within Mac OS. So now you don't have to worry about Brew and installing PHP. And if you have Composer installed, it's super simple. Okay, so this is my Laravel Herd application. Once you install it, you can click on Sites and Settings. You can click on this plus button. You can create a new Laravel application right from within Laravel Herd. Now, it also installs the CLI, so you could do you know Laravel New and have that be scaffolded out for you like that if you prefer the CLI. But otherwise, you can go ahead and just start with one of the starter kits. So in this case, this is what I would do. And again, recommend Laravel Breeze. And I would say, let's just say uh, JS to Laravel. And the Bree stack is going to be Livewire Volt Functional API. My personal favorite is class. But if I was a new JavaScript developer who's built in the JavaScript language for a couple of years now, the Volt Functional API with Alpine is going to be what I would say feels most natural. Let's just go ahead and do this. After you've scaffolded out an application within Laravel Herd, then Laravel Herd builds in the stuff to have development sites in your browser. So you don't have to worry about running anything. You can just open this in the browser and it's ready to go. There we go. This is JS Laravel. Laravel Breeze automatically gives you this auth functionality right out the gate. So why don't we open this up in our code and see what it looks like and why I think it's a perfect use case for JavaScript developers. Just go ahead and say npm run dev, just so we have a development environment ready. And again, this installed Tailwind and installed Alpine and then Livewire already for us. So we have Tailwind right out the gate. So if I was to open this in my VS code. Now, there's so much going on usually within a Laravel application. Laravel 11 slims that down a little bit more, but here's how I would start learning Laravel and more specifically Laravel Livewire as a JavaScript developer. I would go into routes. This is web.php in the routes file. And I would go ahead and say, hey, here's a welcome view. Now you already have authentication out the gate. So if you want to leave that authentication baked in, which gives you login register, like new pages, everything like that, an authenticated user can visit the dashboard and be ready to go. Now, here's what I would do just to get started create one single page in the Laravel Livewire Volt component, and then have that page use all the code that you want. Basically, you can write a full Laravel Livewire application within one file. Here's how it would look. So if you open up your terminal, you go PHP artisan, make Volt, we'll just say dashboard. Perfect dashboard.blade.php. Now in this dashboard component, what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and remove this and we'll say Livewire dashboard. Now we are ready to go. Here's the awesome thing. Anything that we write now in our Livewire dashboard blade.php 
is automatically rendered in our authenticated dashboard. So if you were building an app that you wanted to have users who could register and you know create logins and everything like that and use the power of Laravel for authentication, now you just write all of this in this one file. Now I'll, I'll show you what this looks like. So if I was to say, um, hello from the Livewire Volt component. Let's go ahead and look at what this looks like in the browser. Hello from the Livewire Volt component. Again, we have all the functionality that we don't even have to touch if we don't want to. So anything in here, since this is a blade component, what that means is you can write HTML just like how you normally would. So if I was to write an H1, um, I just want, was to call it, uh, let's just say, hi there. And let's write some tailwind as well. Class, um, and we'll say text red and... Uh, We'll just, we'll just do that. Is it not text red? Text red 500. We'll just do that. There we go. All of this is built into the box whenever you scaffold out a live wire component. Now, here's the kicker. Here's why I would recommend the functional component style within Laravel live wire. You have the ability to basically have this more simplistic case where you have uh, things like state can be defined like this where you could call functions without having to actually declare the function. And all of this is just done within this one simple file. So if I was wanted to copy and paste this and actually put this into the component that we just wrote, that one, this is what it would look like. There we go. If I was to go back into the browser, now I have this component that just simply works. Now, the great part about using Laravel Livewire Volt components is anything in here is just PHP. Now, this is probably the most confusing thing as a JavaScript developer because you're like, I don't know PHP. But this gives you a great playground to start learning. So if you wanted to actually um, do anything within Laravel. Let's say you wanted to call a, uh, a mailable, which means I want to send email within a Livewire Vault component, you can do that. If you want to add something to a queue within Laravel, you can do that all within this one function, all within this one Livewire Vault code block. Now, the reason why I say just start playing around with this specifically is because this gives you the ability to kind of build from there. So instead of maybe you, you don't want all of your logic in one block like you might want, there's good to separate things out. Then you can start getting into, okay, when do I separate this into a component? Then you can learn the resources for that. Okay, when do I you know, start building out a job or a queue? And then you can learn the resources for that. But everything that you might want to do in a more JavaScripty way, if you want to think of it that, can be done within this Livewire Vault component. So again, this isn't this isn't necessarily teaching you how to write Livewire, how to write Vault. That can be coming in in later videos. But this is just say if you wanted to get started, I would look up the Livewire documentation for anything this Vault page specifically. So if you wanted to say, okay, how do I within Livewire Vault? let's say, start doing it like any pagination. Or if I wanted to call something on mount, in this case, that would be like a, a use effect, for example, when the component is actually mounted. Having this one playground already set up for you allows you to dive into the aspects of Laravel, aspects of Livewire that are intriguing. Because then if you go to, because then if you go to Laravel.com and you're like, okay, how do I specifically, you know, start querying the database, then you can do that all within Laravel Vault. Now all of a sudden you have this functionality to kind of add PHP and learn PHP as you're building this out without having to dive into the weeds of where do I specifically put this code. So hopefully this helps, but more importantly, hopefully it helps gives you a starting point to learn, to kickstart your learning, and build some cool things with Laravel, with Livewire, with Volt, and with PHP.